was a big day for Cal Worrell. Before heading home to Iowa, his nurses at Nebraska Medicine had a special pit stop up their sleeves, surprising the seven year old and his family with tickets to the College World Series. Out of the hospital and into the ballpark. To see the smile on his face was priceless. Wednesday's weather delay at the CWS didn't rain on Cal's parade. It made it even brighter. I was excited. Giving him the chance to meet his role model on the mound. He was really nice. Left-handed pitcher Dylan Duchek. He was just smiling the whole time and he's kind of shaking, so I knew he was kind of freaking out. Cal watched in awe as Duchek showed him the scar from his chemo port. I think he was very surprised and overwhelmed at all the similarities we had and how he had stuff on his body that I have on my body. Dylan also shared words of encouragement from his experience conquering cancer. Hey son, you know, this can be you. Just stay with it and just overcome this and, you know, stay positive. Everything that is going to be okay is going to be okay and we're going to fight through this. Cal has more than just Dylan's support, but the entire Raider roster. It was really fun to go down and meet the players and go through their dugout and go in the locker room. Cal left with memories and keepsakes, a hat for his uncle Brady, who's still in the hospital, and signed baseballs with a message that will last far beyond nine innings. I'm going to always remember this day and always remember the players and I always remember Dylan. Cal and Dylan's road to Omaha was different, but baseball brought them together. The game of baseball does a lot for people. It's cool to get here and see people like that, and you inspire them and you encourage them just because you play on this team. Now, Cal had to leave tonight's game a little early to get home for his own baseball game. Cal's family says they are now Texas Tech baseball fans. They actually got to meet with Dylan's family today, and the two families plan to keep in touch. Reporting live, Taylor Barth, KETV, Newswatch 7. That is